So it's in the middle of the night and it's cold. And I'm hooked up to power at this campground, so I use my space heater. And what's nice about using this space heater tower is that I have a remote control. See? I have a remote control. So, I'm up here in my bed. My bed's really high up, so... But... All the heat will rise to the top, so I stay nice and toasty in my bed up here. And when I get too warm, I shut it off. I could put it on automatic too, so if I just put it on a certain temperature, like 68 or 65, you know, it'll turn on and off on its own. But if I use the remote, I can also do it from here. Stay nice and warm. So, I like this tower. Oops, sorry. I like this tower. It oscillates also, goes back and forth. So I can make it do that too. See? From my bed. And this way, when I get up to go use the washroom over there, it's nice and warm in there, too. I hate going in the cold bathroom in the morning. I can also lower the temperature. Oh, it's on. It's 65. And it stopped because it's 65 in here. I'm going back to sleep. Hi, everyone. It's Wednesday. And um, it's time to go check the neck. I'm going to my endocrinologist for my checkup on my thyroid. Yes, I've mentioned before that I have thyroid disease. So I'm going to go check the neck. I'm going to have them check the neck. Remember, protect your thyroid. When you go in for x-rays, don't just let them cover up from your chest down. Make them cover the neck. Make them put the neck collar on if it's not already built in. And especially the dental x the dental x-rays. When you go in and have dental x-rays, make sure that neck is protected and make them the hygienist or the person doing the x-rays, the technician, put the collar on. No collar, no x-ray. No collar. No x-ray. Yeah, so that's where I'm going. And it is 46 degrees <laughs> where I'm staying in the, in the campground. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you when I get out. Stay warm. Burr, it's cold. Baby, it's cold outside. Oh, wait, is there, like, is that politically incorrect still? Even if I'm singing it? If I'm a woman? I don't know. I'm just waiting for the doctor to come in. I got my red t-shirt on today.
my red RV Rebel Girl t-shirt. You can order them from Teespring. Aren't they cool looking? The V-neck, really nice soft material. Yeah, this is a large and it's pretty big and I haven't washed it yet, so I don't know how big it, how much it may shrink. It might shrink, it might not, but I love it. It's comfy. You like? Okay, we'll see. Doctor should be in soon. They took me right away. This appointment's on Medicare. Yeah, and no more paying for that big insurance payment. Well, I got a thumbs up from my doctor and I did another errand. I went, so everything went great with checking the neck. Next thing is I, my plates are gonna expire. I'm sitting at the DMV. My plates are gonna expire on my car and on my trailer. Um, in my car in November, my trailer in December. So I went and got my new stickers for my both at one time. Got both of them. So I'm good to go with that. So now I have my license plate stickers all set. I won't get stopped and get any tickets for that. And I got the plates before they upped the price because the governor of Illinois upped the price on renewing your vehicle stickers and registrations. So, yeah, I think it's like a hundred bucks he upped it. I'm so glad I got it before that law goes into effect. I think it goes to an in effect in January. So I'm good for another year. Time to go. Let's see, one more errand, post office. No, yeah, I gotta stop and mail something at the post office. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.